We're going to do a little time traveling right now. Our Q2 Rewind segment tonight takes us deep into our archives back to about 1964. We're headed to St. Vincent Hospital with the station's Jack Dunhaver and student nurse Pat Schuster. Together, they give us a tour of the St. Vincent School of Nursing. It's a tour of a typical day in the life of a student nurse. So if we're going to follow along on that tour, we'd better join them right now, shall we? With that, we've made the trip up to fourth floor in the pediatrics ward where the student nurses have some of their class discussions and class work, so to speak. So what's the first thing that happens here? Well, this is pediatrics, and the first thing we do when we come in the morning is listen to report. And the at the operating rooms in any hospital uh, have a certain fascination for people, whether it be good or bad. Do you suppose we could take a look at one of them on our tour? Sure, Jack. We've got an operating room assimilation all set up. Why not go look now? Oh, I'd like to very much. Let's go. We're patient. We use advice. We just <laughs> have to show the viewers what could possibly happen and how the procedure could be done. Uh, There's anatomy books, which the freshmen use mm -hmm. in their, their first year. And there's um, pediatric books and obstetric books, and there's textbooks and reference books from every class that we... Well, Pat, this has certainly been a wonderful experience for us so far. What do you suggest? Perhaps we should go over to Merillac Hall and take a look in the classroom. Hey, that's good. Okay. Let's go watch them study. Okay, fine. The student nurses have some lovely quarters at Merillac Hall. They have a lovely lounge, and we're there right now. We're going to just have a most informal discussion about these young ladies that are in the process of becoming a nurse. Can have any of you any particular comment about why you selected nursing as a career? Listen to the choir. <laughs> uh, how, how about you? Well, I, was just, I wanted to be a nurse ever since I was about first or second grade in grade school. I don't know what it is. You'd be old enough in your mind, mm -hmm. and I certainly haven't been disappointed. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't say it's for anything. Uh, Nice. Isn't that fun? That is yeah. fun. <laughs> now, the St. Vincent School of Nursing opened in 1913 and it closed in 1973. But over the span of the school's 60 active years, it trained more than 1,000 nurses. And back then, Q2 went by our old call letters, Cook TV. Here's some old uh, photos that St. Vincent uh, sent us. The research that we did says the nursing program there coincided with a nationwide push to boost student nursing. And they mentioned a new federal law that put a lot of federal dollars toward nursing education. It appears that St. V's nursing program got quite a boost. It's 1964 wave of recruits among the school's largest, thanks in partnership to Eastern Montana College. Of course, that's now called MSU Billings and even some old photos of the uh, facility there at St. V's. No matter how much things change, they still remain the same, right?